Good evening and welcome to Facebook Live, where today we're talking about should you eat protein or carbohydrate? What is better for you? The answer is you should eat both together. That is the uh, actual answer. So my little example there with emojis were should you eat fish or should you eat chips? So a lot of my slimmers say to me, oh, I was really good. I went to the chip shop and I just had chips. Isn't that good? So what would my answer be? No, if you're gonna have a treat, then you need to still make sure you follow the golden rule of proteins and carbohydrates together. So you might think to yourself, the camera fell off, sorry. Uh, you, may, <laughs> you may think to yourself, I'll just have this itsy bitsy teeny weeny little Mars bar. So I'll just have this tiny little Mars bar. There can't be many calories in there. So again, if we think about our rule, protein and carbohydrates together. Yes, it's got a little bit of milk in the chocolate there, but mainly it's sugar and it's got some fat in there as well, but mainly it's carbohydrates. So that may psychologically just hit the spot, but chemically what is gonna happen is your blood sugar is gonna go up and then it is gonna crash back down and you're gonna be craving more chocolate. So what could I have with this little bit of chocolate to help my blood sugar stay stable? That is some protein. So believe it or not, having a Snickers with a little bit of nut in there as well would be good because it's got a little bit of protein in. Now that's not me giving you a green card to say that you can go and eat as many Snickers as you like. But what I'm saying is when you have a treat, just think about trying to make sure you have that goal, follow that golden rule and stick to protein and carbohydrates together. So if I was gonna have this little Mars bar, maybe I could have a glass of milk, a milky coffee, you know, something like that. So again, your blood sugar is going to stay stable. Uh, let's pick another thing. I'm just choosing the things that I've got in the room here. I just use it in the evening and these random items are here where people use it in the daytime. Hi Sally, welcome to the live video. Oh yeah, every time I'm moving it just keeps, you sit, I, this is what happens when you haven't got your tripod with you guys. I haven't got my tripod. I'll move things carefully. Let's have a biscuit. I just want a little biscuit, okay? So again, what can we do to make sure when we have just a biscuit, so we're not gonna make sure we're on the sugar roller coaster. Again, it's really important to make sure you have the protein. So having a milky drink with your biscuit would be a great way to stay in control. Um, another one that I've got here, an energy drink. Let's say you feel like you haven't got any energy, so a little energy drink will perk you up. So this Happy Shopper one, 35p, there's some random things in this room. Um, per 250 ml, it's only 50 calories. However, the only ingredients, to be honest, in there is water, sugar, and caffeine. So in here, again, it's gonna make you feel good for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then your blood sugar level is gonna crash back down. So it'd be much better to have a Baby Bell Light, some nuts, you know, something proteiny, which is gonna make you feel fuller for longer, but also give you that slow release energy. So this is why an energy drink it will give you energy, but very temporary, very temporary. Unless you're an athlete, you shouldn't really be using energy drinks for anything. And then the number one source of carbohydrates, which we're all addicted to, sugar. Just basic sugar. If you think about uh, back in the days, I heard my mum talk about, you know, if they felt hungry, if they felt a little bit lack of any, just have a just knock back a few sugar cubes. Um, I've even seen my friends in Egypt, they open the sugar um, little, you know, the little capsule thing, and just knock one back when they're feeling a bit down. Um, so that is really, um, obviously sugar is the number one thing. A question from Rosie, what about fast release energy drinks for the parent with a wild toddler who needs it? Rosie, it's true. If your toddler was gonna run around for 10 minutes and you did need that, correct. 
But if I believe most toddlers run around for hours and hours, this is where having a chicken breast or a few eggs, you know, a bit of slow release energy would be much better. So just to clarify, guys, milk is a source of protein. It's also got some carbohydrates in again. Uh, if you look at the sources of protein, things like uh, meat, chicken, tofu uh, are a good, real good source of protein protein also things like beans and chickpeas lentils they're really great sources of protein to be honest with you dairy in general so cheese cream milk things like that although as i said it has got protein in but it's a, a not a high source of protein so it won't keep you that full so this is where our meals should include a good source of protein and obviously when i talk about carbohydrates it's not just sugar it's also things like fruit. So again, you may think, oh, I'll be really, really good. I'll just have a piece of fruit. Uh, and it's gonna, a piece of fruit is gonna do exactly what the sugar does, and that is gonna throw your blood sugar up and you're gonna crash back down. Vicky, he doesn't let me do anything. I don't even like any of drinks, but yeah, I need a quick source of energy. Um, as I said, keeping your body in balance is the best way to, to go all a day without um, these ups and downs. Also bear in mind, uh, if you do feel like you have mood swings and if you feel like you are up and down all day, again, this is a sign that maybe your body is not being fueled correctly by proteins and carbohydrates. For all my slimmers this week, we are doing a metabolic typing test. So you are able to see this week um, I'm just reading the reply. Sorry, Helen's just put, just let the toddler have the energy. <laughs> no, don't do that. Kids are not meant to drink this stuff, guys. Uh, Maureen's saying, what about a two-finger Kit Kat? A two-finger Kit Kat has still only got carbs in it, uh, Maureen, so you do need to have a milky drink with your two-finger Kit Kat. Although two-finger Kit Kat has probably got the same calories as this tiny Mars bar, so it would be a good option. Uh, Rosie, uh, <laughs> Rosie, yes, you're seeing the uh, bad news of this for children, definitely. Right, guys, that's it from me. As I said, uh, my slimmers this week, you are doing the metabolic typing test, and I'm going to give you a personalised prescription whether you need more protein or more carbohydrates in your diet. Because what we want, when you do uh, start a new eating plan, you lose some weight, uh, but to continue that, that's when we need to look at signs from your body, what you need. Uh, Rose is saying, am I bringing Slim Brother to Hatton? I'm living in Hatton. Slim Brother is already in Hatton. Uh, but yeah, we don't have a fitness class, but we do have a fitness class in Church Broughton, which is very close by on a Thursday evening, which is Dance Fit, Thursday at 6pm. So that's the closest for now. Right, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to have a stew now, which is half protein and half carbohydrates. Bye.